My name is Johnny Rodriguez and I have ALS. I was diagnosed in October of 2023. As a kid, I was viciously competitive. Some would say too competitive at times. It led me to play sports. I was a three sport athlete in high school, a two sport athlete in college. I played hockey and lacrosse in college. I met my wife in 2015 at a Denver Broncos and a Baltimore Ravens tailgate. And a couple years later, we got married. We traveled the country, we traveled the world. We took our honeymoon in the Maldives, and shortly after that we had uh, found out that she was pregnant with her first son, Jet Joseph Rodriguez. About nine months later, we find out that we are pregnant with our second son. Just a couple days after finding out that she was pregnant with our second son, I go in to see a neurologist, and he tells me, uh, within a couple minutes, he tells me very black and white, Johnny, you have ALS. I laughed at him and I said, that's fine, I, there's no shot, I have ALS. It's, I'm perfectly healthy, I go to the gym, I'm in the gym two hours a day, my cardio is in great shape, I take great care of my body. How, do I, how would I possibly have a disease that can kill me in two to three years? He said, Johnny, I'm just here to give you the news. I'm sorry, it's unfortunate news, but I'm just the doctor doing my job. I mean, you're just, you're frustrated, you're pissed off, you're angry, you're depressed, you're mad, you're confused. Why is the number one thing running through your head? So I have to go home and I have to tell my wife that ah, I might not make it in a, you know, past a couple of years here. So after a couple of weeks, I finally, I, I just am ready to fall apart. Uh, you know, it's, I've only told my close circle, my inner circle at this point. And I go into a church, bawled my eyes out for two to three hours, just straight crying. I had migraines for days after this cry, but the cry felt so good coming out of it. But I knew that I could lean on the Lord and I knew that I had this new purpose. You know, I got to attack this thing. So come up with a game plan, a strategic approach to beat this disease. How do I do that? Nobody's ever beaten it. Well, hold up. I just found out by doing a little researching that there's been 50 reversals of this disease. 50 people have found a way to have ALS, to progress, to lose functionality in their body and to get it back. What? That was so uplifting for me. That was hope. I was praying for strength. God took me to a church. I was praying for hope. God showed me these reversals. And it's the greatest hope I've ever found to this day. So I started getting an ice bath. And I realized the ice baths, where it was like, it was unlocking all these blood cells and allowing the gates to open up and blood to flow freely through my neck, where I was so stiff at one point, I get out of the ice bath and I can move my neck so much more than I was able to prior. The single biggest thing that cold plunging does for me is it unlocks the power of my mind. So I'm submerged in cold water. My body is in fight or flight response. And I can't think about anything else but surviving. So it centers my focus every morning when I wake up. I'm dealing with ALS. I need to survive. And I'm practicing that by being in survival mode, unlocking the power of the mind. Dealing with ALS is tough. Uh, it's not easy. There's, I have a very aggressive treatment plan and it's every day, there's no days off. I wanna beat it, it wants to be me, we go at it every single day head to head. So when I wake up and I can hop in an ice bath where I can train myself to be able to withstand anything, that any emotions my body are throwing at me, I get to block those out. I get to challenge myself to block those out. So that way when I go throughout the day and I have to do another hour of this and another hour of that, I get to enjoy that journey because I've already done the hardest part of my day.